everybody, welcome to Giftology. I'm John Rulin. Every business leader in existence wants to get a return on their marketing. On this YouTube channel, we throw around terms like 10X and 50X and 100X. But how do you calculate ROI from a strategic gifting program? And are those numbers real? Or are they just made up fluff? Stick around and we're gonna talk about it. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna to talk about one thing, gifting ROI. It's the job of every business leader to build a machine where if you invest a single dollar, you get back $2 or $3 or even $10. Let's do some math. Spending $1 to make $10 would be an example of 10X return. Unfortunately, the world of marketing rarely works like that because all forms of advertising experience something called diminishing returns. Take digital advertising for instance. Let's say you were to place an ad on Facebook, pretty common, and ignoring the details of auctions and click-through rates and cost per click, let's say you spend 500 bucks. You got the word out to thousands of people and you got a boost in sales of $750. Huge win, right? Then why can't you double down and keep going? The reason it doesn't work that way is because of advertising attrition. Attrition occurs for three reasons. The first is because not every target customer is equally eager to buy. The people who are most eager, oftentimes called early adopters or first movers, will buy right away. Unfortunately, everybody else takes a lot more work, which is the second reason attrition happens. Because the wait and see group sees over your ads over and over, and they experience ad fatigue. People buy on their own time, not yours and not mine. And blasting people with the same message over and over again can annoy people or train them to block you out, which is the third reason ad attrition occurs, because most marketing gets less valuable with increased exposure. This is the exact reason why strategic gifting, when used over the long game, can do far more for you than bursts of ad spends. Now, I'm not suggesting to stop spending money on ads. We portion 20% of our budget to strategic gifting and the rest to content marketing and traditional marketing. But traditional spends don't snowball the same way as strategic gifting. One of the first people to teach me this was Todd Herman. Now, Todd is one of the world's leading performance coaches. He's worked with world-class athletes and Olympians and business leaders and has spoken on some of the biggest stages in the world. Years back, Todd and his performance organization wanted to test gift marketing for his coaching business. He specifically wanted to see how strategic gifting strategy could impact the amount of referrals generated at one of his events. Now, Unbeknownst to any of us at the time, Todd's wife used to be an executive at Google, and she's an absolute hawk at tracking every bit of their business. Fast forward to the end, Todd invested about $25,000 in a gifting strategy that we put together for him. And after the first year, generated an additional $225,000 from the referral surplus for a one-year return of 9X. Pretty cool, right? Two things to point out in this case study. First, we're talking about business from a referral surplus, meaning from referrals he wouldn't ordinarily have received without the gifting strategy. How do you measure that? Well, if you've been in the industry for several decades like Todd has, if you've tracked for years and you know that ordinarily you average X amount of referrals from activity Y, and then you add only one additional variable, which in this case was surprise and delight gifting to his event attendees, and then you calculate that you got double the amount of referrals that you usually do, it's safe to say that gifting caused the impact. The second thing I wanna point out about measuring gifting ROI is Todd's point about his one year return. When gifting done right, loyalty grows over time. We found that with spending 20% of our marketing budget on gifting year after year, that our best referrals often come in years three through six of when we started gifting somebody. That's because all of those impressions and emotional impact and relational equity that is built out over the half decade creates a level of loyalty that's impossible to achieve in year one. Loyalty grows over time. It's, it's like watering a garden, not like going to the supermarket. Let's look at another case study of a financial advisor. Now let's say an advisor invests $10,000 into a gifting program with his top 20 clients. No quid pro quo, no additional ask for referrals when the gift is delivered simply letting the process of appreciation play out. Let's say he generates a measly two additional referrals and then never does gifting ever again. 
But wait, let's say each of those referrals are going to be worth 10K in revenue, and they'll stay for 10 years. The ROI grows each and every single year. So from one 10K spend, this advisor is net $200,000. And we're not even counting any referrals those two clients might give him over the next decade, referrals he never would have had if he hadn't done gifting in the first place. And so now what if that advisor keeps gifting in years three and four and five? What if he ups the ante and adds three to five more people to the list each year as the business grows? What if you're an agency or a business owner and your top 20 is really your top 200? I'm gonna tell you what happens. The rich get richer. And in this case, you're the rich. What most people do is buy crappy gift baskets at Christmas and spend their big marketing dollars not on their current clients, but on getting the attention of new clients because they totally disregard the wisdom that the best way to get more attention is investing into the attention you already have, which is why unlocking current client loyalty is the best investment you can make into your word of mouth advertising and why it'll always get you more ROI than the diminishing returns of traditional marketing spends. So spend wisely, my friends. Nothing compares to the ROI of organic referrals that have been earned with a loyalty strategy, loving on people, no strings attached, being proactive. This is what works. 